Buck Showalter's club has lost 12 of 15, worst record in the majors in that time. Should the Reds take the game tonight or tomorrow, that would be five straight series losses. David Bell's team is looking for its third win in four games. Hunter Green, eighth start of the season, searching for his first win. He has had solid success overall to this point. Well, Hunter's still trying to figure out uh, what he needs to do in order to be one of the top pitchers in the game. Obviously, the stuff is there. Struck him out with high heat. Really nice sequence of pitching right there. We saw up and away, up and away at 98. Then the slider down and in. Francisco Lindor, two run homer yesterday. It's just a matter of tilt with Hunter, like that pitch right there. That ball's downhill, and that's what you have to swing at because he throws so hard, you have to commit so early. Jeff McNeil. And he gets another K. Three up, three down. All struck out. JV, Justin Verlander making his second start since the big free agent acquisition this offseason. Good news is he looked really good in his first start. His stuff looked there. I think he could build off that, add to that pitch count. Jonathan India leads it off for the Reds. India socks it beyond shore. He has been hot over the last couple of weeks. TJ Friedel, top five average in the National League. Swung on a missed strike three. Verlander gets out number one. TJ Friedel down swinging. Little that, change up. That looked like a great change up. Jake Fraley. Well hit to right. Marte. It's off the wall. Fair ball. India storming for third. Marte just now recovers. Throw into Guillaume. Relay to the plate. India head first. Punch. He's safe. Backside. Fraley to third. And the Reds claim a 1 nothing lead. Double third on the throw. Hustle from both men. Wasn't sure if this ball was going to go out of the ballpark or not, but Jake Fraley with a little bit of top spin on this ball down the left field or the right field line. And it looks like it just hits in that corner right there. Stevenson walks. Stevenson off. Pitch called a ball. Alvarez shows the ball now, throws down to second. Stevenson the slide. He's out. Well, Stevenson starts, then he stops. I don't know if the idea was try to get into a rundown, but you can see Fraley goes back to third base and no chance for him to score. Here's Pete Alonzo. Hunter Green's first pitch slider hit deep to left field. This ball's going a long, long way. It is gone for a home run off the bat. As soon as Alonzo hit that hanger, you knew it was gone, and the Mets have instantly come back to tie the game one to one. Nick Senzel leading off here in the second. Strike three called. Beautiful pitch right on the outside corner, and there's one away. Here comes Will Myers. Here's the 3 2. Swung on a missed strike three. Verlander again with that fastball just blows it by Myers. He's got two strikeouts here in the second. This is Henry Ramos, the designated hitter. Goes back to that fastball. Ramos, nice diving stop by Guillorme. He makes the play. Inning over. 1 2 3 for Verlander with a little help from his friend. Back for the bottom of the third, Justin Verlander starting his third inning of work. And he's doing a pretty good job of getting outs right now as Marte called off by Nimmo. Six in a row retired for Justin Verlander. We're through three. Tie ball game. Two away. Luis Guillorme, the 3 1. Guillorme into the corner. That's down for a base hit. He's trying to go two. Myers. Fires and Guillaume is in there safely with a two out double. Well, they planned Guillaume properly to the opposite field. And look how low that release and that slider is, folks. That's what we're talking about. Nice at bat by Francisco Alvarez to work the walk. And here comes Brandon Nimmo with two on. Very hit a brown ball, base hit. And here comes Guillaume rounding third. He scores. Into third is Alvarez safe. And Brandon Nimmo with that big hit that the Mets needed an RBI single with two outs and the Mets take their first lead of the series two down brings up Tyler Stevenson four pitch walk snaps the string at eight in a row retired by Verlander strike one to Senzel high fly pop Beatty tracking it right at the wall and he makes the grab nice play by Brett Beatty to end the inning well he gets to the wall quickly that's the key there he takes a peek finds out where he's at gets his bearings well done well done pretty cool first pitch McNeil Herrero secures the out three and oh on Alonzo the big, big man has some power timer violation that's going to be ball four. 
Well, he disengaged in a bases empty situation. Strike one on Brett Beatty. Beatty bashes to right. Myers cups the ball. Alonzo breaks back. Marte is popped out, grounded out. Marte flies out to right field, and Myers makes the play. We're through four and a half Mets maintain the 2 1 lead. Well, Verlanders has retired 11 of the last 12 Reds he has faced. Popped up. Alonzo right there. Two pitches, one out. So here's TJ Friedel, and he gets a strike out there. Breaking ball, two away. The 2-2 two -two swung on a missed strike three. Come on, guys. Everybody out there watching knows exactly what I'm talking about. Lindor swings through that one, one and two. Is Lindor with the base hit into center field. Jeff one for three today with a single in the third. Fly ball right field chasing is Myers. He's got a beat on it makes the play one away. I think if Lindor can get a jump here steal a bag. It's a big run out there. He stole four this year hasn't been caught yet. There goes Lindor. The throw by Stevenson is in time. I don't know about that. We'll see what Harrison says. No. OK. He got him. What's a fine throw then he had a great jump. Struck him out. So Jabot faces the minimum in the seventh. Adam Adovino warms in the Mets pen. Verlander enters the seventh. Jake Fraley wants his ball one. Swung on him is strike three. Just blowing the fastball by Fraley one away. Stevenson fly ball left field McNeil. Called off by Nimmo two down. There it was swung on and missed strike three. You see the reaction from Verlander four of his last five batters struck out finishes with a flurry. So it'll be up to David Robertson 13 appearances this season. He has been nothing short of spectacular. So it'll be up to Spencer Steer for the Reds and Steer lines that one into center field Nimmo there to make the grab and that'll do it. What a desperately needed win for the New York Mets. And what a brilliant pitching performance by Justin Verlander, who wins his first game as a New York Met.